Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to more pre-season testing. Today we are playing Galio Support. We're going to give it a go and see what it's like. Uh, because a lot of, with the new items, etc. It's opened up, I think, a lot more supports than just the generic -y ones. Uh, because you can just buy, you know, the, the, the kind of basic support item. And then you just get straight into a kind of a damage mythic. And it's a lot more apparent that carries can do okay in support now. Um, and that's why a lot of people say like things like Soraka and Nami, they've kind of gone a bit down when it comes to supporting. So, uh, yeah. Bring up the Alona Matuda. It's a low diamond game on average, a little bit of high platinum. Uh, Porofez is very confused, though, but it's it's set support. It's Rengar top, and it's Rumble mid, Galio support. Um, so it has flipped some people around. Uh, but we've got a Rengar that doesn't play Rengar, so that's going to be probably a bit of weird versus a one-trick Camille, so you'd expect the Camille to do quite well. We've got a Hecarim, very strong champion. Another Kha'Zix, I think he's pretty much been in every single game today. We have a Jin main, uh, very good on Lucian. And this guy is a Samira main, and he's vulnerable, so he does die a lot in bot lane. And that's a bit worrying because we're against a early strength lane that is um, Lucian and thingy uh, uh lucian and set have quite a lot of early game strengths so if this if this guy Jin is not very good at positioning uh hopefully i can protect him all right uh what mythic do i want to go i'm gonna go apparently the Imperial Mandate build now the Imperial Mandate is getting uh updated but um it is worth noting, some champions will still take Mandate. Um, Galio still might take Mandate, even after the change, possibly. But yeah, I think probably he'd still go it. Um, what do I want to go, level 1? I don't even know if I want to take an ability, because it's going to depend what we need. If the enemy team full engage, I'd probably want W. So I might just hold. I might just hold what spell I take. Could I actually use my passive one more time, then? Do I like the new COD? God, no. Cold War is poopy. Played it once and I won't play it again until I have to if I've got to level the new gun to Warzone. But I am not looking forward to that. It feels a very big step backward. What happened with COD? It was just a new one was made by because i think cod the way that they do call of duty is that they do like one year it's one developer one year it's another developer and they must have been completely out of sync because modern warfare meant with a bit a little bit more realistic less arcadey in the feel and then the new cod is like we're back to full arcadey it's like Ugh. it's horrible i should have gone e actually i think Helping with that farm with my auto attack power right now. I don't have E. We need level 3 and then we can probably fight it, my dude. Do we win this though? I don't even know if we win this fight. I thought he was like, I thought that set was legit just directly going to walk into us then. I don't know. But again, set not the easiest thing to kill because you get him low and then he just presses his W and he gets a big old shield with a lot of damage. He's like, oh. See, nearly kill him and then straight away, boom, massive shield. Flash, maybe? I think he's out of range. Yeah, we won the trade though. That's not too bad. I 
That's not good. Oh, the gank. <laughs> oh, well. We were a bit overextended, I guess. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get a control ward right now. Oh, I kind of, like... I don't know. I wish there wasn't a Kha'Zix or something like every single game, but I don't blame people. People will still want to climb, even though it's pre-season. So people are just still going to... That's bad by Jin. Oh, that was close. Um, people are going to still try and climb them up the hardest they can, so they're going to try and abuse the broken picks. Why wouldn't you? Um, they might be doing dragon. Apparently max W, which I guess makes sense on support Galio. Wait, are they not doing it? Oh, I'm going to go maybe roam. They know I'm here right now, but just checking I'm not doing dragon. No point being bot lane when my AD carry isn't even there. I don't really think I can do anything to this Zoe, though. Yeah, she's pushing. Yeah, maybe a gank. A Hecarim gank bot lane would be great because it's a relatively all-in lane. Like, again, for Set to do anything, he has to be in melee range. Lucian has relatively low range, so he's going to be quite close to the fight too. So a Hecarim gank would be probably quite effective. Again, by the way, this Rengar name, I could probably look into the account and just see if that's like a, a boosting account. With a name like Temp and then millions of numbers, it would probably indicate that that account is an account that's just being leveled to, to, to be sold. He legit just got absolutely roamed. Jesus. Alright. He did have flash, so maybe he could have flashed a little bit earlier away and avoided some of the damage, but he just didn't. Unfortunately for me. Well, more unfortunately for him. Could really do with some help in bot lane. And they've done dragon. Oh, this Hecarim. I hope he's I, I, he's staying the top side of the map the whole game. But well, let's just hope that they can carry, I guess, because it is sacrificing bot lane a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let me check. Should I see the Rengar? Is it obvious? Because a lot, a lot of the time it's obvious. Um, it was ranked last season. It was platinum, and it's still platinum technically. So that's not that sus. What it could be, it has no history before plat. What it could be, if it's not like a really dodgy account, it potentially could be a botted leveling account. They're still quite common. I think that might be worth, but only if we can get a kill soon. But knowing our luck, the jungler will probably come bot lane. Ooh, he's staying. Guess what, guys? The jungler's bot lane. I, d I don't know. Twitch chats are saying, why is it always the jungle avoids my lane? I don't know. It's like, no matter what role I play, I'll never get jungle attention. <laughs> but the enemy jungle block, I'm going there. Every, every lane I play, whether I'm mid, top, bot lane, I junglers are just allergic to me. And the enemy jungler, is just, they love me. It's bizarre. It's it's really weird. Oh, hey, Nightmares. Hey, Skids. Hey, so, Son Nevin. So Rengar might have been ra maybe raging, by the way.
Wait, why are the bot lane? Aren't they lane swapping? Okay, I thought... Okay, Rengar's bot lane because he's going... He's going to come bot lane and... Bot lane's going to go top. Nope, bot lane's staying bot lane. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So just again, they should blow up that tower. They literally have nobody there. That was like special delivery. Get behind me, old masses. Well, at least Camille's having a free game. Nice for some. <gasps> oh, that was so close. You don't want a tower plate? Oh my god, now the mid lane is bot lane. And it. Oh my dude. This is ridiculous. This is literally the whole. And your bot lane. Hey, how you going? Oh, this is a joke. <laughs> the whole enemy team is bot lane. And we're getting zero help. <laughs> oh my god. Again, I might be a bit salty, but let's be honest, everyone's going to be salty after this. We're literally getting sod all help. It's like, the, it's like my team do not want to win. This is mental. It's just crazy. Not a single gank. I haven't been to many places. Oh, and then someone's like, oh, to be fair, you're pushing it. It doesn't matter. We're not going to get any help anyway. Are we? Let's, like, be honest. We're not going to get any help. We got help! One time! First time of the game! It happened! My god. I did not mean to press that. And look what happened! It actually was an okay situation. See? We can win! Oh, Camille. Uh, and Kazix is bot lane. Okay. <sighs> Me and Camille, we did a lot of work there. That was good. Okay, now you come bot lane just to take the gold from the tower. Are you. Uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, again, I, it's all in for good fun, by the way. Like, it's annoying, but I, you know, I'm not that annoyed. It's still a video game. What am I getting Queen Pleb for Christmas? No, she'd be listening probably right now. I'll tell you guys after. Who wants to get protected? I, I want to win this game. Please. Please, let me win. Queen Pleb's a lurker. I'd love walking. 
Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Uh, close fight. I think we win in the end, maybe. I don't know. Again, this isn't even a Rengar player as well. Oh my god. Well. Oof. Very oof. You spent £110 on a smart mug for Mrs. Cheese for Christmas. A smart are one of them ones that you can like keep a cup of tea warm. They're quite good. You can like keep it to a certain temperature. That was a bit overkill. I don't know if we needed the rumble or not for that. <laughs> well, we're, honestly, our grouping is a good thing for us. Hecarim, Galio, Rumble. So, and grouping is not great for the enemy team generally. Rengar. Kazix to assassins. So I think this game is definitely winnable. We just gotta work together. Kind of expected him to be there. Luckily I pressed my ward thingy, whatever the hell it's called. What's it called? Oracle lens. Cause like I was thinking, where the hell's the Rengar? Like he has to be nearby, surely. Yep. He nearby. He being a bush wookie. No, uh, more AP. AP. So you're just play basically playing Galio like an AP mage, but in bot lane, in essence, that's kind of the gist of support nowadays. Damn, I don't have ult for this fight. That's the only thing. Ult would be very good for a dragon fight. Right, Kefil. Don't. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is not bad, though. This isn't bad, I don't think. We did some damage. We kept them in the fight. Rumble Ultimate's absolutely cleaning up here. And we're going to take the fight. Hey, let's go. All right. So my, some people may have questioned, Huz, why are you walking into them? Because I could just hold them a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer just wins the fight with Rumble Ultimate. So that was a good thing. How much has my Imperial done? Uh, only 700. Not a crazy amount. Um... Yeah, we can go top lane. Again, the, the Rengar... The, I don't blame the Rengar for not being with his team because he's not a team fighter. Rengar's like, I don't want to group to team fight. I can't really team fight that well as a Rengar. So that's the way that we win this game is just stay grouped. Camille, by the way. You're wondering why was I holding my W? Because Rengar was holding his Furosity stacks. So you notice I'm tight. Oh, really? I'm timing my W for when he doesn't have Max Ferocity because Max Ferocity, he obviously has a inbuilt QSS that he can just press his W and he gets out of CC. Um, that's why. And that's why he was trying to... We were both faking each other out, basically. Someone please get the pigeons out of my head. Oh. 
But yeah, Galio support, I will say, doesn't feel that bad at all. Feels not, you know, feels actually pretty good. Um, it was just a shame that one team, as you guys saw, one team was, like, on it in bot lane. Like, you know, ganking and everything, and one team wasn't. Like, I don't think, I'm not wrong in saying, I don't think we had one gank at all from Hecarim in lane phase. Not one. Um, we had a gank from Camille, but we didn't have a gank from Hecarim. Hecarim came bot lane eventually to use Rift Herald, and he just took the tower. I actually keep forgetting there's a Zoe in this game. I think that one, the one thing I will say, I think mages on average are quite strong. The one mage I don't think has men benefited insanely from all the new items. I actually think Zoe is not in the best spot right now. But I think other mages are pretty, pretty good. Zig, Zerath, Velkoz. I think they're fine, but I think Zoe isn't. Which is why I also think Vixie... Vixie thinks mages aren't in a very strong position. I think a lot of that will be because of her main main her zoe isn't great but the yeah, other mages are fine hey beatrice but when your main is feeling rough you might just feel rough about the role as a whole you know that kind of rhymed the role as a whole anybody start watching attack on titan last step uh, last season by the way it's kind of weird that it's on the last season attack on titan was the first ever anime that i got into and it's taken this long. <laughs> There's only like, what? How many seasons are there? Four or something? It's taken this long to get there. It's hilarious. Let's move. I've got me. Jesus, that damage. Oh, the rumble! Oh, that's huge! Look at it! Burn, baby, burn. Just going fun up. God, this rumble does so much damage. I won't. I watch uh, Crun on on Crunchyroll. Not sponsored. I wish they would. They actually do like affiliate sponsorships, and you never can get them. But yeah, I watch on Crunchyroll. You can watch anime for free on Crunchyroll, uh, but if you have the premium subscription, you get it as soon as it comes out in Japan, like the same day, which is nice. I'm gonna sell my thingy for this. How much did the item do with Rumble? I'll look. Uh, we have now done 1300. So yeah, Mandate, I don't know. Mandate is the thing that like, again, as I said to you guys, I, I can play competently without looking up things, obviously. But the reason why I look up builds and that is to make sure that I'm not doing the completely wrong thing. I don't even think Mandate is that good. Maybe Mandate isn't the thing to go. Rocket Belt probably would do a lot more. So if we get late enough in this game, I potentially will sell Mandate and move over to Rocket Belt. Hey there, Gaddis. Remember, they loved this bush a while ago. Oh, buddy. That Rumble out again! Oh my dude, it's doing so much damage. I'm just tanking, I'm tanking. This rumble is doing so much damage. Psych. Hey Tweedle. Alright. Again, the enemy comp isn't very good because they've got double assassin, so naturally we'll start winning with a more team fight based comp, and then we're forcing team fights more. You, you know, shouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, th honestly, this game has made me want to play Rumble. To be, you know, his damage is nuts. Well, everybody's damage is nuts, but you know what I mean. Camille's outscaled Rengar. Again, that shouldn't be too surprising either. Hate 
I uh, would have liked to get that tower. Um, Knights of Al, so we are going to go a bit supporty. It's time to move. Shake off the mm -hmm. Wait, the Herald did ma dub max damage twice, did it? Are you sure it just wasn't timed with like a Hecarim E or something? This is bad for the enemy team. No! Oh! Yeah, this game is pretty free now. Uh oh. Help! I'm okay! Sweet. Forward momentum. So yeah, I don't know what happened. If people are saying the damage looked like it went off twice there. I didn't see it myself. I'd have to see it again. Um, but maybe, you know, bugs do exist every now and then. Ooh, cold. I still need to use my item a little bit. Ugh. Oh, that was so close. Wait, you trolling? Triple taunt, baby. I'm coming! Oh, I mucked up badly there. I didn't even press flash. Damn, we absolutely owned them. So this game was quite good. We had a pretty rough early game too, but this is like what we've always spoke about. This game I'd honestly give, well, one damage from Hecarim and Rumble's high, but honestly, team comp. Like... The enemy team was not doing bad when we were actually all split individually and everything like that. But when we actually could then group up and like, yeah, use our team fight advantage. Yeah, there you go. Like, this is the problem with having double assassin on the same team. Oh, he, he is burning, but, <laughs> but yeah, double assassins. If you force a team fight and you have a team fight comp, Rumble, Hecarim, Galio to a certain extent, you're going to get out of scale in that instance. So that's kind of what happened there. Good game though, actually. So yeah, Galio support, rough early game, but that was more, I don't even think that was from the pure lane phase. That was just more one team, you know, helping their bot lane because we got ganked by the Kha'Zix. We got ganked by the top laner even came bot lane and the jungler came like and the mid laner. Like the whole enemy team at some stage in lane phase was bot lane where our team, we had Camille and that was it. Uh, our Rumble didn't come bot lane once, I don't think. Hecarim didn't come once, and you know, apart from using his um, thingamajiggy, the what's it called, uh, the Rift Herald. That's it. So we had very little help. So we actually didn't do that bad. Uh, we went five nine fifteen. We kind of did. We went five eight, but I killed myself to the, the the God Tower at the end. We got eighteen, which isn't too bad. And damage wise, doing more damage than the Jin. Yeah, the Jin had a bit of a rough one. Uh, the Zoe had a very rough game, as we mentioned. I did more. I did more damage than the Kazix. I did more damage than the Set. So honestly, for a Galio game, we we did pretty good. Uh, that wasn't bad at all, considering the Jin wasn't doing great and we was a rough bot lane. We did fine. Um, so I'd say Galio support is definitely okay to do. Um, I think Galio obviously is he's a pretty fun champion. To well, fun to a certain extent, but he's effective. Maybe maybe that is the way to, to word it. He's effective. Um, but yeah, well done to the Rumble. Some really good ults there. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, do throw a like on it. Throw a comment. Throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.